How's it going, people? I'm just finishing up a three-day weekend. Been having a great time. Thought I'd have a take a double take. It's a head snapper, and I wanted to read up on my World War II history, take an intelligence test. But mostly, I just wanted a beer. That was good. Probably a lot better than this. All right. World War II intelligence test. Um, and, uh, they're taking a 180. That sounds very religious. One, who are these two men? You don't know. You're mighty dumb. It's Hitler and Churchill. See, I know a few of these things. Two, what countries do they represent? Uh, let's see. Is one of them Madagascar? Germany and England. Okay, the UK. Three, what year did the U.S. enter World War II? Well, that's an easy one. Uh, they made a John Belushi movie about it. 1941. Four. It's 1943. This is a rhetorical question. That's not the answer to question uh, three. Uh, it's 1943. A German officer has a gun pointed at you. He wants you to get into a bulldozer and drive it forward. <coughs> In front of the bulldozer is a pit containing 300 Jews. Is that all? Must have been a slow day. Jews who have been who Jews who have just been shot. He didn't ask me to shoot them, right? Just drive a bulldozer? Okay, just just checking. Uh, some of them are still living. But they've been shot and they're in a pit. He wants you to bury them alive. Some of them. Uh, if you don't do what he says, he is going to kill you. And do it himself. Okay. Would you drive it forward? I don't know. Is it a manual or an automatic? Just kidding. Uh, stupid question. Probably not. So what do you think? Because you value all human life. Let me get this right. I value human life, so I'm going to let this guy kill me so that I can give 300 people, most of them already dead, a chance to live a few more seconds. Because he's going to Drive it over them anyway. Let's see, I value human life, so I'm going to throw mine away on a pointless, for a pointless reason, a reasonless reason. Um, I don't know, what, what would you do? Please comment. Would you drive the bulldozer? Hmm? Got a gun to your head, it's going to kill you and then do it anyway. And they've all been shot already. Okay. Perhaps you don't think it's, it's, uh, wait, wait, probably not, because you value human life. How then do you feel about abortion? Because those two things are exactly the same. <sighs> I tell you what, I plan to never have an abortion myself, okay? But, if men had to carry babies to term, there would be a lot more abortions and a lot less people complaining about it. Yeah, but since, you know, it isn't the case. <laughs> All right. Perhaps you don't 
think it's a human being in the womb. It's a fetus, a human fetus. Not necessarily a human being. It's a human fetus. Hitler declared that the Jews weren't human and gypsies and Jehovah Witnesses and gays. <coughs> I think they're all human beings, even the J-dubs. <sighs> so that he could justify killing them. Yeah, and he also liked to kill retarded people and crazy, crazy people. And he was a eugenicist. And besides, do you know for sure when life begins? God, who created every life, knows. And he says, you shall not murder. And then he told a bunch of people, go murder some people. Like, in the same paragraph, practically. At just six weeks, the baby has hands, eyes, a beating heart, and brain waves. Does it really? Does it? So, with these thoughts in mind, can uh, with these thoughts in mind, answer this question: Is it okay to kill a baby in the womb when? And then they trail off. Um, did you know that God considers even hatred to be murder? Because thought crimes, you know. No wonder so many people act out. If they already thought the thought, they may as well do the deed. Because it's already a, a thought crime. How much more will he contemn those who actually take a, the life of another? And yet they're all pro-capital punishment. <laughs> uh, here are some more questions. How many lies have you told in your life? I forgot to keep track, and that's no lie. Probably less than some, maybe less than many. Sometimes I go whole days without lying. <laughs> maybe longer, I don't know. I don't keep track, but um, I don't tell a lot of lies. It's just easier not to. Don't need, or don't need to. Don't enjoy it. <sighs> Have you ever stolen anything or used God's name in vain? You seem to be off on a new tangent here. I thought we were talking about abortion, and then I thought we were talking about World War II. <sighs> All right. Jesus said, Whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. At least she can't get pregnant that way. Or get a disease, you know. Alright. Um, the Bible warns that if you are guilty, you will end up in hell. But God, who the Bible says is rich in mercy, <laughs> sent his son to suffer and die on the cross for guilty sinners. That was so merciful of him. We broke God's moral law, but Jesus paid our fine, so have an abortion. He died for your abortion. I don't know. They seem to have lost their train of thought, don't you think? That means he can legally dismiss our cases. <laughs> he can commute our death sentence and let us live forever in Never Never Land. <sighs> For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Then Jesus rose from the dead and defeated death. Please repent. Turn from sin today and place your trust in Jesus alone for your salvation. And God will forgive your every sin and grant you everlasting life. Then read 
your Bible daily and obey it. So go ahead and have an abortion because you're forgiven. Anyway, and there's a www.180movie.com. It's not like a free movie. It's a Living Waters. Um, let's just test this little um, pro-life statement in a little book I think you've heard about. Yep, the Holy Bible. All right. When does life start, huh? Okay. Exodus 21, 22. And uh, that's 22 through 25. If people, when brawling, hurt a pregnant woman and she suffers a miscarriage but no further harm is done, the person responsible will pay compensation as fixed by the woman's master, her owner, <sighs> paying as much as the judges decide, a fine for killing a fetus. If further harm is done, however, you will, re you will award life for life. So if the mother dies, then, then you've committed murder. But if the fetus dies, loss of potential property. <sighs> you will award life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burn for burn, wound for wound, and stroke for stroke. So different strokes. So. <sighs> What's that got to do with World War II? Anyway. Let me know if you learned something. Maybe this changed your life. I'd sure like to hear about it. Stay tuned. More laugh tracks to come. Peace the fuck out. And have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. And go watch that 180 movie. Maybe it'll save you.